Right now, a fleet of NASA spacecraft are turning their attention to an unusual object speeding through our solar system. An object moving at incredible speed through our solar system. This is a crucial scientific update on the interstellar traveler known as 3I Atlas. As it races deeper into the inner solar system, this visitor from another star has captured the imagination of scientists and sky watchers around the world. It presents an extraordinary opportunity, a rare chance to study a messenger from an entirely different stellar neighborhood. On October 3rd, 3I Atlas made its closest approach to Mars, marking a pivotal moment for planetary observation. But this once-in-a-lifetime event has also collided with a very Earth-bound problem. Just two days earlier, on October 1st, a notice appeared across NASA's public websites. Due to a lapse in federal funding, the agency would temporarily suspend public updates. So at the very moment when one of the most mysterious objects ever discovered was being observed up close, NASA's own voice went silent. In this briefing, we'll explore the full story, the details of the Mars flyby and why it matters, what the latest data shows, how the government shutdown has affected the flow of information, and finally, what lies ahead as the world waits for answers from the Red Planet. This event marks a turning point in our understanding of interstellar objects, giving us a view we've never had before. On October 3rd, 3I Atlas swept past Mars at a distance of roughly two astronomical units. One astronomical unit, or AU, is the average distance between Earth and the Sun, about 150 million kilometers. That means 3I Atlas came astonishingly close, just about 30 million kilometers away. For spacecraft orbiting Mars, that's practically next door. This proximity granted NASA's robotic explorers an unparalleled opportunity to study the object in detail, a perspective impossible from Earth. An interstellar object is a traveler that originates outside our solar system, a fragment of another world, wandering briefly through ours before disappearing back into the cosmic dark. That's what makes 3I Atlas so valuable. It could carry within it the chemical fingerprints of its distant birthplace, clues to how other planetary systems form, evolve, and perhaps even seed life. The timing and geometry of this flyby are critical. Observing from Mars wasn't just convenient, it was essential. From Earth, our view is now completely obscured. 3I Atlas has moved into what astronomers call a superior conjunction, positioned almost directly behind the Sun. Its faint light is lost in the solar glare, making ground-based observation impossible. But from Mars, the story is different. The red planet's position provides a clear, unobstructed vantage point, allowing orbiters to gather high-resolution imagery and spectral data that can't be captured from Earth right now. Before 3I Atlas vanished behind the Sun, telescopes on Earth managed to record a final series of crucial observations. These final glimpses, captured on September 25th, September 27th, and October 2nd, frame the moment just before the object disappeared from sight. The first sequence from September 25th was taken just before 3I Atlas was struck by a coronal mass ejection, a massive eruption of solar plasma that briefly illuminated the object's coma. Two days later, new imagery showed how the ejection had altered its appearance. And on October 2nd, astronomers recorded one of the last usable images before the glare of the sun consumed it completely. The data collected so far reveals an object that defies easy classification. It's traveling at nearly 60 kilometers per second, far too fast to be bound by the sun's gravity. It possesses a vast, diffuse coma, a glowing cloud of gas and dust stretching 700,000 kilometers across, almost half the diameter of the sun itself. Yet it lacks the classic cometary tail we might expect. Instead, it displays a strange sunward-facing anti-tail, a feature rarely seen and difficult to explain. And its orbital plane is aligned remarkably close to the ecliptic, the flat disk along which our planets orbit, an uncanny coincidence for a body from beyond our system. Taken together, these anomalies have left scientists puzzled. Some, like geoscientist Stefan Burns, have gone so far as to call 3I Atlas the most bizarre object ever observed. It's this very strangeness that makes the Mars observation so critical. Only through detailed imaging and spectroscopy can we begin to unravel what this traveler truly is. Icy fragment, rocky shard, or something entirely new. 
Yet, just as the world was preparing for a flood of data, a sudden silence descended. The U.S. government shutdown temporarily halted NASA's public operations, freezing updates and suspending many online resources. Websites went dark, press releases stopped, and even parts of the Deep Space Network, the antenna array that communicates with spacecraft, scaled back public data access. But space doesn't pause for politics. Observation continues thanks to an extraordinary network of international cooperation. The European Space Agency, China's National Space Administration, and the UAE Space Agency all maintain active missions at Mars. Their orbiters have been redirected to observe 3I Atlas during this critical window. Together, these missions ensure that the silence from NASA does not mean the end of discovery. Humanity's eyes remain open, even if one agency's voice has momentarily gone quiet. So when will we actually see the new high-resolution data from Mars? The process unfolds in several stages. First is acquisition, as spacecraft capture the raw imagery and sensor readings. Second is download, when the data is transmitted across millions of kilometers back to Earth. Third is processing, as engineers convert those raw signals into usable formats. Finally comes analysis, when scientists interpret the information, compare models, and prepare findings for public release. Each stage takes time, and the timeline remains uncertain, particularly with NASA's communication delays. Looking further ahead, another window of opportunity will open in early November. The European Space Agency's JUICE mission, short for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, will be positioned to observe 3I Atlas from a new angle as it approaches the outer planets. However, because JUICE follows a complex gravitational trajectory, we don't expect that data until early 2026. The observations made from Mars may hold the key to understanding this extraordinary object. They could reveal not only its structure and composition, but also rewrite what we know about the formation and migration of matter between star systems. 3I Atlas is more than a scientific curiosity. It is a messenger from another sun, a fragment of a world that once orbited a distant star, carrying whispers of its origin across the interstellar void. Every atom within it tells a story. Perhaps it formed in the fiery heart of a long-dead sun, or condensed in the quiet of a distant nebula billions of years before our own solar system was born. Now, by sheer cosmic chance, it has drifted close enough for us to study and to wonder. When astronomers turn their instruments toward 3I Atlas, they are not just collecting data, they are reading a message written in starlight, a message that traveled for untold millennia before reaching us. The Mars flyby offers clarity we've never had. Spectrometers will dissect its light to identify organic compounds, the building blocks of life. High-definition cameras will map its surface, searching for texture, composition, and rotation clues. And together, these findings will form a mosaic, a portrait of an interstellar traveler that might, in some small way, reflect our own beginnings. But beyond the measurements and models lies something profoundly human. Our pursuit of knowledge has always been about connection, bridging the gap between what we see and what we feel, between the known and the unknown. 3I Atlas reminds us that the universe is not static, it is alive with motion and exchange. Even across the vast distances separating stars, materials, and perhaps ideas, move freely, stitching the cosmos together. This solitary object speeding silently past Mars is proof that boundaries are illusions. The universe is one grand, interconnected story, and we are part of it. Every spacecraft watching 3I Atlas represents more than technology. It represents human curiosity embodied in metal and code. Each antenna that tracks its path echoes our timeless desire to reach beyond the horizon, to ask the next question, to keep searching. In many ways, the story of 3I Atlas is the story of us. We are explorers by instinct, a species that looks up at the night sky and wonders. We seek meaning in the movement of stars and purpose in the silence between them. What lies beyond our sun? Are we alone? Or are we part of something larger, an intricate web of creation that spans galaxies? Every discovery brings us closer to understanding, even as it deepens the mystery. When the data finally arrives from Mars, after traveling millions of kilometers through space, 
teams of scientists will analyze it line by line, searching for patterns that speak to its origin. Was 3i Atlas once part of a vibrant planetary system torn apart by gravity? Was it ejected during a stellar cataclysm? Or could it represent an entirely new category of interstellar object, something our physics has yet to describe? Each possibility opens new doors. Each answer leads to another question. And even now, as NASA's updates remain paused, the universe itself continues the conversation in light, in motion, in silence. While governments debate budgets, stars continue to burn. While websites go dark, telescopes still turn toward the heavens. The work never stops because exploration is bigger than any single nation. It is the shared dream of humanity. 3i Atlas has become a symbol of that shared purpose, proof that when we look beyond our differences, the sky becomes a place of unity, not division. Soon, this interstellar visitor will slip away, fading into the darkness between stars. But the impact of its passing will remain. Its brief appearance has already changed how we see our solar system, not as an isolated bubble, but as part of a vast galactic ocean filled with travelers like this one. And perhaps the most remarkable thing is that we were here to notice. In the grand timeline of the universe, our observation lasted only a heartbeat, yet that heartbeat matters. It reminds us how fragile and precious our existence is, and how extraordinary it is that in this immense cosmos, we have the tools and the will to explore it. 3i Atlas tells us that our story is written not just on this one planet or under this one sun, but across the stars themselves. Its passage is a whisper across space, a reminder that even the smallest fragment can carry the memory of a distant world. So as the world waits for new data to emerge, one truth remains clear. The search for understanding never stops. Even in silence, the universe speaks. And when the signals from Mars finally reach us, when the first images appear on our screens, we may see not just a comet or asteroid, but a reflection of ourselves, seekers of knowledge, reaching outward, guided by wonder. The cosmos doesn't surrender its secrets easily. But for those who keep listening, it offers glimpses of the infinite. And someday long after 3i Atlas has vanished into the black, another interstellar messenger will arrive. When it does, we will be ready, wiser, more connected, and still driven by the same timeless curiosity. Because exploration is not a destination, it's a journey. It's not the answers we find, but the questions that keep us moving forward. And in that endless pursuit, across worlds, across systems, across time itself, we discover what it truly means to be human.